the enormous turnip. This story has a farmer, his wife, their son Jack, a dog, a cat, a bird, and an enormous turnip. Once, one morning, the farmer went to his field. He wanted a turnip. He saw one turnip with very big green leaves. It's huge. I'll pick this one, thought the farmer. The farmer tugged and tugged at the turnip. The turnip didn't move. The farmer's wife saw the farmer puffing and panting. I'll help, he called. He hugged the farmer. He grabbed the turnip leaves. One, two, three, pull. They both tugged and tugged, but the turnip didn't move. Jack saw his parents puffing and panting. I'll help, he called. Jack held his mother's skirt. She hugged the farmer. The farmer grabbed the turnip leaves. One, two, three, pull. And they tugged and tugged until they were red in the face. But the turnip didn't move. Move, barked the farmer's dog. He raced into the field. Let's try again, said the farmer. The dog pulled Jack's shirt. Jack held his mother's skirt. She hugged the farmer. The farmer grabbed the turnip leaves. They all tugged and tugged. As hard as he could, they could, but the turnip didn't move. No one saw the cat arrive. She beat the dog's tail. The dog ripped Jack's shirt. Jack tore his mother's skirt. She let go of the farmer. Yep. Oh, oops. The farmer let go of the turnip leaves. Whoa! And they all fell over. The farmer brushed, brushed, her, brushed the dirt off his clothes. Let's try once more, he said. I'm hungry. Just then, a bird flew past. Tweet tweet. One two three pull, said the farmer. The bird packed the cat's tail. The cat beat the dog's tail. The dog pulled Jake's shirt. Jake held his mother's skirt. She hugged the farmer. The farmer grabbed the turnip, and everybody tugged. They tugged and tugged and tugged some more. Slowly, slowly, very, very slowly, the turnip began to move. It's big," said the farmer. "It's huge," said his wife. "It's enormous," said Jack. "Woof!" "Meow!" "Tweet!" At last, the turnip popped out of the ground. The farmer was very happy. "Time for bed," he said, yawning. That night he fell asleep with a smile on his face. In the morning, Jack helped his mother chop down the turnip. They ate turnip soup for lunch, turnip soup for supper, and turnip soup for breakfast every day for a month. Next year, I'm growing carrots," said the farmer. The end. And thank you for watching.